Somebody begin to magnify God. Just adore Him, worship Him. We reverend God for who He is. We want to establish you by the Father. You are the leader of this. That
So 
Sam, ha ha, be mate, Sam. Asam papa be matene se Yesu yado moto ye uye 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 kampa uye 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 moto nyuma no ho. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia! For he whom you did marry to bear, Alleluia! Has risen as he said, Alleluia! Pray for us to God, Alleluia! Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia! For the Lord has risen indeed, Alleluia! Let us pray. God our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through the prayers of his mother, the Blessed Mary, to the happiness of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Matthias, pray for us. Saint Teresa, Pray for us. All you saints and angels of God, pray for us. My dear people of God, I welcome you once again to the living streams of water. Today I will be sharing the word of God with you, taken from the feast of St. Matthias of today and alongside with the criteria that St. Matthias was chosen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
at that time Jesus said to his disciples as the Father has loved me so have I loved you abide in my love if you keep my commandments you will abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do what I command you no longer do I call you servants for the servant does not know what his master is doing but I have called you friends for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you you did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you this I command you to love one another the gospel of the Lord my dear people of God in everything you do in your life you need prayers in every decision that you take in your life you need to pray you need the direction of the Holy Spirit to be able to do whatever you want to do in life today we celebrate the feast of Saint Matthias and Saint Matthias as you know fill in the vacancy of Judas Iscariot when he decided to take his own life the early disciples didn't just do anything anyhow they used some criteria in order to select someone God wants him to fill that vacancy and therefore the criteria that any disciples use that someone who knows Jesus Christ someone who was with him during his baptism to the time he was taken into heaven and this was the criteria they used and of course as they used this criteria the people selected two people that presented two people that is Joseph who is called Basibas and Matthias and as they did that it didn't just end there they went ahead to pray they went ahead to ask for the direction of the Holy Spirit to choose one of them to be able to fill in the vacancy of Judas Iscariot because that is an important office and as they pray the Holy Spirit chose Matthias and Matthias took over the 
office of Judas. In fact, the people themselves came together to present the people. And when St. Matthias was chosen, he did very well. He went ahead to spread the gospel and love people and at the, at the end he was martyred on the account of the word of God. My dear people of God, the scripture is fulfilled. The, the scripture is fulfilled said by Saint Peter before Saint Matthias was chosen. In our daily activities, how many times do we pray when we are taking an important decision in life? How many times do we pray when we want to choose leaders for offices when we want to choose leaders to take up an important tax how many times do we pray in order to ask for the direction of the Holy Spirit to choose these people to take up the tax how many times do we pray when we want to choose our last one our last partner how many times do we pray my dear brothers and sisters prayer is very important just as the early disciples did not do any manipulation when they wanted to choose Saint Matthias they did it in a line of the Holy Spirit. The whole community, all the disciples presented the two people and the Holy Spirit chose Matthias. And that is what we are supposed to do in any time we want to select leaders, we want to choose leaders in our communities to lead us in the church, to lead us everywhere we found ourselves. We also need to ask direction of what? From the Holy Spirit and also the collaboration of the community members to be able to choose leaders who will lead us, who will direct us to the end. And if you do this, it means you are working according to the will of God. It means this is what God wants us to do. Certain times in our lives when someone wants to select a leader or appoint someone for a particular office, we do not ask the direction of the Holy Spirit but we try to choose someone according to our own motives. Certain times we choose someone who might not be qualified to take that position and even neglect those who are qualified to take the position of that office simply because we want to gain certain things from others who can afford. Certain time when someone gives you something, this is where or this is the person you think he should be elected to be a leader not based on the qualification of the person. Certain times some people are looking for a job they have the qualification they have everything but the one sitting on a job wants something from the person that means you have to give and take if you don't give it means you will not get the appointment and that is wrong it means you are looking for bribe if the person is not having money if the person cannot bribe you if the person cannot give 
it means you will not what? You will not also help the person. We are there in the office in order to help, to appoint people who are qualified to ask God for direction so that we will be able, able to appoint people who are qualified to take some particular office, to take over whatever office you want the person to carry on. Because the work the person is going to do, is the work is not for you, the work is for God. The person is working for God. And that is why in the Gospel, Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you. By the virtue of our baptism, we have been chosen. We have been selected. We have been chosen by God to go out and proclaim the word of God, to go out and serve the people and love them as we heard in the gospel. We are no, no longer what? Servants. We are no longer slaves. But we are what? Friends. Friends know what the master is doing. So therefore, God calls us friends. Jesus calls us friends because he knows we know everything. We know what he is doing. And therefore, there is a task that Christ has given to us that as we are baptized, that we have to carry on that task. As St. Matthias was chosen, he went out and proclaimed the word of God. He went out and did what is expected of him. And he died on account of the word of God. That is why we are also up to do. We cannot leave the word of God, spreading of the word of God to only priests and religious. Everyone who is baptized has given that task to do to promulgate the word of God. We have given the task to love one another as Christ loves us. If we are in the community and we are not showing love to others, how then can Christ also love us? We have to show love to others. We have to go out to help others. We have to go out and help those who are really in need. And if you are able to do this, it means we will be what? We will be the, we will attached to the vine. We will be attached to Jesus, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will love us and the Holy Spirit will guide us, guide us wherever we go. And there, whatever you ask from the Father, the Father will give you. Whatever blessing you ask, the Father will give you. Because the Father is giving you simply because you use that gift in order to help others, to bring others closer to Him. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us emulate the example of St. Matthias, the criteria that St. Matthias was chosen. Let us emulate that example.